Welcome to Azerbaijan, the land of fire, where history and modernity meet. Azerbaijan is a beautiful country in the Caucasus region, sitting between the shore of the Caspian Sea and the Caucasus Mountains. This country with a population of over 10 million might not be known to many international tourists. It is indeed a great destination for nature lovers, history and culture enthusiasts and foodies. People here are friendly and hospitable. Azerbaijan is truly a hidden gem that deserves its spot on every traveler's list. Plus, getting to Azerbaijan is a breeze for most nationalities thanks to the new e-visa system. Now it's time to gear up and get ready to explore Azerbaijan. In this video, I share the top 10 places you absolutely cannot miss when you're exploring this country. You've touched down in Azerbaijan and guess what? Your adventure starts right here in Baku, the capital city. Baku is indeed a unique and lively city and it is worth spending a few days here. As you stroll in Baku, you will witness the striking contrast between the modern skyline and the echoes of its ancient past. The iconic flame towers, a testament to Azerbaijan's oil-rich history, stand tall against the backdrop of the UNESCO-listed Old City, a lively testament to Baku's historical roots. Baku Boulevard, also known as the National Park, is a popular place for both locals and tourists to hang out. This promenade stretching for several kilometers has beautiful gardens and fountains, offering stunning views of the Caspian Sea. For the best panoramic view of the city, you can go up to Highland Park, right next to the famous flame towers. Baku is also home to some of the most remarkable modern architectural buildings, including the Haida Aliyev Center and the Crystal Hall, the venue of the 2012 Eurovision Song Contest. These buildings showcase the city's ambition to be a global center for culture and architecture. Baku can be your base for taking day trips to other parts of the country. Ishiri Shihar, known as Baku's old city, is surrounded by defensive walls. Dating back to the 12th century, it offers a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of Baku. Here you can see the evidence of Arab, Persian, Ottoman, and Russian influence. One of the main attractions here is the Palace of the Shirvan Shahs, which is known as the Pearl of Azerbaijan's architecture. It's a complex from the 15th century that served as the residence of the Shirvan governors, the rulers of Shirvan. The other attraction here is Maiden Tower, the oldest and most enigmatic structure in Baku's old town. It is believed to have been built in the 12th century, although its exact date of construction and purpose is unknown. Old town is a great place to try some traditional food. Gabustan is a unique and fascinating region in central Azerbaijan, which has outstanding universal value. The region has been inhabited since prehistoric times, and it is known for its collection of rock art engravings, some of which date back an astonishing 40,000 years. These intricate engravings provide a window into the lives and beliefs of the people that once lived in the region and offer a unique glimpse into the history of Azerbaijan and the wider world. These rocky and tony hills reflect the whole history of this region from the Stone Age to the Middle Ages. The stone you see behind me is a dream stone. People used to go through the hole so their wish would come true. Qabustan is just an hour's drive from Baku, which makes it a great day trip.
many visitors to Azerbaijan may not know that the country has the highest number of mud volcanoes in the world. There are around 400 mud volcanoes spreading broadly across the country. A mud volcano is a type of volcano that erupts a mixture of water, mud, and gas instead of molten rock. The mud in these volcanoes is composed of a mixture of clay, silt, and other minerals which give the surface a unique appearance. The mud from these volcanoes is considered to have therapeutic properties and many people visit the area to experience the mud baths. The most popular mud volcanoes in Azerbaijan are close to Qabustan, not far from Baku. This means that you can visit both places in a single day trip from Baku. Yanardag, which translates to Berni Mountain, is an interesting natural site in Azerbaijan. This site is nothing short of extraordinary. This hill is always on fire due to the gas deposits under the sandstone surface. This amazing phenomenon does not depend on human participation and occurs continuously day and night in any weather condition. Locals call it the eternal flame and many believe believe that this was a holy mountain and it became a place of pilgrimage. While the exact history of Yanardag remains clogged in mystery, a local legend has it that a shepherd once accidentally lit a fire there and the hill has been burning ever since. Atashka, often called the Fire Temple of Baku, is a special place on the Apsheron Peninsula where fire and faith have mixed for centuries. Fire rituals started here a long time ago, around the 10th century, at the peninsula's natural gas vents. The temple we see now was built between the 17th and 18th century. The structure is similar to the caravan saras, similar to the old inns travelers could stay at. People still wonder if this temple was built for Zoroastrian or Hindu worship. It is like a mix of both in its designs. Some experts believe that it was first for Zoroastrians, but later it became more like a Hindu place of worship. In 1969, using up a lot of the natural gas in the area made the flame go out. But today the flames are still here thanks to Baku's main gas supply. In 1975, the temple became a museum. Then in 1998, the temple got a special recognition from UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The Diri Baba Mausoleum is a hidden gem located in the city of Maraza and it was built in the 15th century. Inside, it's where Sheikh Muhammad, also known as Diri Baba, is buried. According to some legends, Sheikh Muhammad possessed miraculous powers and was known for his ability to heal the sick. And Sheikh Muhammad had the last wish and he wanted to see where he would be buried. When he found his grave, he started living in his grave like while he was alive and then he died while he was praying. Some believe that his body has been preserved without any shape of decomposition. And some believe that Sheikh Muhammad was an angel and he never died and he's alive. Gabala in the north of Azerbaijan, the ancient capital of Caucasian Albania, is surrounded by the country's highest peaks. It is a great place to visit both in summer and winter. One of the best ways to explore the area is to take a cable car which takes you to an altitude of 1920 meters. During the summer, you can enjoy a stunning panoramic view of the area. But in the winter, this place turns into a snowy wonderland, perfect for skiing and having fun in the snow.
just three kilometers from Gabala city, there is Nohul Lake, one of the most popular destinations in Azerbaijan. The lake is surrounded by lush mountains. It is one of the highest lakes in Azerbaijan. Located 700 meters above sea level in the middle of three mountains. Despite its high altitude, it can be easily reached by car. Some believe that Nohur was created after World War II to supply surrounding villages with water. But some other stories say that after the earthquake, the mountain collapsed and now is the lake. And the source of this lake is just rainwater. There are hotels and restaurants around the lake, which make it a perfect place for relaxing and unwinding. You can't swim in the lake, but you can rent a boat or go fishing. The Seven Beauties Waterfall in Azerbaijan is a true natural wonder that cascades down a series of seven terraces, each with its own unique beauty. The waterfalls flow from the highest peaks of the Caucasus Mountains. To see all seven terraces, you need to hike for around two hours. During winter, climbing the waterfall becomes tricky because it's all frozen and covered in ice. But when spring and summer roar around, things change. You'll find tea houses along the mountain roads. There are cozy spots where you can enjoy some tea and a special Gabala jam, which is a local treat. There you have it, the top 10 places to visit in Azerbaijan. If you need more details, make sure to check out our Azerbaijan travel series. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.